Worse yeah. is a nice name. Yeah. Eh, what would you have changed it to? I always wanted to be Nicole. Mm, I hate mm. that name. It's a Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. I mean, hey, that's not Make that, sure that cool. gets into the cut. <laughs> no, that's kind of Nicole. I like the name, <laughs> just not on That wasn't even yeah, close. I'm not, no. You don't look like a Nicole. Absolutely no. what not. What do I look like? Do I look like a Marissa? Yeah, you do. Mm. But see, I don't like my name because I, it's like, I don't even know how to pronounce it, and it's my own name. Is it Marissa or is it Marissa? Well, I guess you Did you say two different versions there, or <laughs> the same thing? Oh, shit. Psychopaths. I won't tell you, I'm just going to go ahead and start. Just start. Hi! <laughs> Welcome to Clinton Folk with Beer. We have Marissa over here. <laughs> and Steven Runyon. Scotty Allwood. And our new friend. You you have to introduce yourself. Erica. Said, yeah, Erica. Erica. Thank you. What so. we do here is we talk, like we look up new, weird news stories and then we discuss them. We haven't really read them. We see a headline we like and the others are oblivious to what we're about to talk about so heck yeah you ready what do you are you want to go first or am i gonna go i first? would love it thank you <laughs> <laughs> he's always gonna start so over the top <laughs> I, I hate it every time that's a really good accent <laughs> police arrest a colorado dentist for allegedly killing his wife by poisoning her protein shakes oh damn. <laughs> yeah <laughs> shit <laughs> Watch out. Please say that James Craig killed his wife, Angela, so he could start a new life with his affair partner. Piece of shit. So. Because, you know, divorce doesn't exist. <laughs> How do you guys feel initially about this? I want to know what kind of protein shakes they were. Chocolate. No, I don't know. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <Because> <laughs> you don't you even know care about the know. murder. You're just like, you right. Whoa, know. whoa. Has Was he making has her protein touched shakes touched on the murder part yet? Immediately. <laughs> What kind of protein stupid. shakes they got though? Are they getting gains? They getting gains from these protein <laughs> shakes? It's dumb they had to call out that he's a dentist. How is that relevant? Well, because he, he probably had, killed her with he gas. Teeth, as you can see. Those are fake. <laughs> Those are great looking though. <laughs> you guys don't get to see it. This is like red couch coolness time so and you guys are on tan. Want, that looked like a picture of his wife, so I need to see. How you can see so, him, her, yeah. but not his beautiful oh, teeth. Oh, you clicked it. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> well, they look so... Don't they? All? <laughs> <laughs> they look happy. What do you think? They're going to get a picture of them fighting each other? Yeah, the right. Side? That's <laughs> what I love. Because, yeah, photos of people are always people just going like... <laughs> Listen, you can read a lot from Can't We should all take a picture Can't after this for the picture of weeks. the video of just... <laughs> That's Just our real, unhappy. Our real moves. So he killed her by poisoning her protein shake. Correct. Okay. So would you want to be killed that way, or would you want to be murdered in a different way? This. How would that you want to be, be murdered? Easiest way to take me out, though. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, murder. hands down. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no but one would honestly, suspect anything. Honestly, I don't understand how she couldn't taste such things. Protein, well, protein shake. shakes are gross. Right, they're gross. So, so they're, you're not going to taste poison in there. You would. You, you don't, don't know even what, know what it's in it. You don't know. What if he just... Marissa. <laughs> a Colorado dentist is behind bars after he was arrested for allegedly oh killing his wife by poisoning her protein shakes with cyanide and arsenic. Police took 45-year-old James Craig into custody on March 19, 2023 for first-degree murder of Angela Craig. Random picture of Britney Spears for some oh. reason. That's weird. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, <Brit. laughs> below it, celebs who allegedly stink. I guess Aww. Britney Spears stinks. <laughs> Don't like leave Britney a... alone, okay? <laughs> She's been through enough. <laughs> According to court documents, James reportedly laced Angela's daily pre-workout drink with poisons causing her to fall ill and ultimately die in the hospital. Huh. So Please say... Hmm? Multiple times. Oh, yeah. Mm. wasn't just a one-time thing. He was addicted to poisoning her drinks. Wow. <laughs> and she's just going along thinking that's a strong, that that's a strong hands. stance to take on it <laughs> Craig first put arsenic in his wife's drink on March 6th Angela texted him saying I feel drugged he responded just for the rock record I didn't do it oh well, it's on, so, I mean, it's on record there we go There's a text <laughs> he <message>. said <laughs> just for the record shut I didn't. the fuck he said just for the his, record his, I didn't his, drug you that was his reply his to her. Reply. He's like, I'm good. I'll never get caught now. <laughs> he said just for the record. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <gonna> see here. <laughs> what? 
Wow, Ooh. getting away with murder, sir. Super easy. Big response. Just, <laughs> wow, okay. When the arsenic <laughs> failed to kill her, James instead ordered potassium cyanide to his office at Summerbrook Dental Group in Aurora. He reportedly told the supplier that he needed it for surgery, and he asked his office manager not to open the box when it came in. He's so dumb. How could you be more obvious? Uh, like, literally. Go <laughs> yeah, to Walmart and buy it. Like... That's how I feel like this is how stupid you are. Like, you, like, went to the store and bought it. Well, they're so going to send you buy it on your night when they Walmart. find... No, but I'm saying him doing this and just <laughs> notifying everyone about it. It's as if you would. She She has a point, it. but, like... That was dumb. It's I mean, it's going to be tough respond, either way. You didn't do it. Because they're going to go, how'd your if wife you die? Did. Oh, arsenic? Remember oh, weird. Box? Your credit card statement says you bought arsenic at Walmart <laughs> a week ago. What about, was it the shit that was in the box? Did she die from the shit I wasn't supposed to open? So that's probably why he thought he'd get away with it. Because, like, he gets access to the drugs, right? He can get those things. Like, oh, you, you know, that dentists, they just use poison all the time. So hmm. yeah, don't even worry about poison it. Poison on teeth. Is what I'm thing? saying, those are from some so, strong words. This is the one thing I haven't been able to get over yet. It just seems like the moral of this story is don't exercise. <laughs> right, because then you want to be doing protein shakes. There's shake. no fucking reason to have a protein yeah. shake if you're not exercising <laughs> or like taking can I care ask you of this yourself. Personal so. question. Can I ask you this personal question, Marissa? <laughs> Do you participate in the Art of, <laughs> the art of protein the shaking. Art of protein, protein shaking. shaking. Uh, I've so, heard you like to shake proteins. I I do. I I mm, like to drink them. Well, I, yeah. I Scott's mean, trying I to find out best ways to kill you. <laughs> well, I've already said it. It could. I mean, I could see this happening in a relationship for sure, for sure. Um, the fact that he was probably bringing her the shake and she's thinking oh you're such a great guy like you're just bringing me my shake you're making it for me no maybe and she was he... ungrateful and that's why he killed her in the first place well, just you ungrateful i make this protein shake every day and you don't go to the gym you go to carl's house <laughs> don't don't think i don't know don't you dare Carl. gaslight He's the, the one woman. cheating <laughs> <laughs> She's she's he killed oh, her, but yeah, you're right. She's the bad girl. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. There's yeah, a lot of reasons to kill somebody. Her for an alternate life, he already said. Oh, that that's right. He had a mistress. Oh. Literally, he literally Thank said he had a mistress because we had yeah. already all forgot about that. No, he. he that's why another the woman. Men, the men forgot He's about the mistress. Her for cheating, Just go but off he right was the over. cheater. <laughs> After unknowingly ingesting the cyanide in the shake James made for her, Angela went to the hospital two more times. Her final visit was on March 15th when she complained of severe headaches and dizziness. Her condition deteriorated rapidly from there. She suffered a seizure. Doctors declared her brain dead and she was placed on life support. Angela Craig died on March 18th. Woo! That's so sad. So this is what is also wild, like... How bad are these doctors? Right, I'm. She's been to the <laughs> hospital how many times and nobody was like, "That's oh, cyanide for sure." <laughs> 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 yeah, you're fine. Come back again later if you still feel bad. No, you don't have the common flu, so get out. I guess like, um, oh, she's been here three times. We don't test her. I don't know. Maybe she didn't have good insurance. I, I feel like doctors aren't true. going to assume that anyone that comes in feeling bad has been poisoned. So you're not just gonna go. Eh, yeah, well. Check for poison. Hmm. So well, maybe the I time when like she went brain dead, they finally did. If you're married <laughs> and you come in sick and they can't figure out why you're sick, they should probably they should test check. you for poison. You took that right out of my mouth. See? Mm -hmm. From my mouth or what? to your yeah. lips. From God. Okay. <laughs> From God. Wow. That's an awfully high opinion of oneself. <laughs> God spoke to me. He <laughs> said my words. It was me in the mirror. <laughs> so what's up? Is there any any other details to this grisly arsenic I'm murder? Glad they caught him. Fucking. When did Texas? Not early enough. I guess not. So. <laughs> <laughs>
She did. We'll see. Oh, Our yeah. bad. That was a plea. We got him, though. <laughs> when detectives analyzed James' internet history, they allegedly found a Google search for is arsenic detectable an autopsy? Another Every fucking, fucking idiot. time. He's so I, stupid. I, I'm sorry. always Google. Do you, you like you always have to go to like a public library for that shit. You everyone does it from Why something that can so be traced. Dumb? You I actually have to it. sign in at this point. Dude, I would be borrowing in. your phone to Google that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like then they'd be like, Well, you know, Scott Googled is arsenic undetectable when I murder my wife and then, you know, murdered her out of jealousy because he's trying to be with me. I just use your phone. <laughs> I'm sure there's, there's a scenario there somewhere. God. But. He's so dumb. Everything he did, he was like, I want to end up in jail. I need to be in jail. That's what that's. <laughs> I think about. I think he's probably at a level of paranoia where he thought he was being like cool, but you know, like when you're all real messed up and you're like, I got this, and you're just like, really, <laughs> you don't have this. He's like, I think you know, I like, bet that text will save me because I put just for the record. <laughs> <laughs> for the didn't record, do it. that was it. And they're like, I okay, we do don't anything. need to investigate him. Yeah, right. <laughs> I just didn't. The <laughs> cops are like, Ooh, thank God for that text <laughs> message. That saved us a lot list. of time. <laughs> Lawyer saw his case and went, we're scot free. Dude, right here. In the clear. That was a great idea. Unbelievable. He also searched a YouTube video titled Top 5 Undetectable Poisons That Show No Signs of Foul Play. See, if you're going to do this shit, you have to write a book then about poisons and then you fucking poison. Then it's like, oh, it's like either ironic or someone thought they'd frame you. What's really concerning mm. to Otherwise, me, aside from this that story, is the fact that Steven over here has just really, really got every answer to be a fucking killer. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm, 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 fucking I'm one just one. saying, like, like... This is how we This is just it. for discussion. He's never done it before. <laughs> no, he texted like, me that. <laughs> No comment. <laughs> no comment. Just for the record, I didn't do it. James had multiple affairs with several women. Why in the world are you with this woman if you want to do that? And if you're already doing it, And you it, decide to kill her, kill her ass now. Right. At this point, you have every reason oh, to dude, I'll bet get away. I, I would almost bet dentist, so we're talking a doctor. Mm. She may or may not have a job. She was no homeless prenup. when they met, and then you like, divorce she's her. Get all the money. She takes half <laughs> for nothing. And it's, it's not like, nothing. Gonna get his well, we don't know. We don't know if they had kids. She may not have even been a, you know, she might have been a trophy wife. We don't know. She still deserves half. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying she probably doesn't, but I would, I could see why this guy would think he had to kill his Listen, way out of it. He was cheating on her multiple times. That's why I always bring up. Okay, Always. we have more information. Let me let you mm. in on it. Die bold. Please do. <laughs> James remains behind bars as police build their case against him. What? His and Angela's... No. <laughs> That's it. That's All right. it. So, no. His and Angela's six children are left oh, to mourn the loss of okay. both parents. Oh, Fuck him, dude. He's a six. bitch. Yeah, that's so how old really though. If it was name? one or two, I'd be like, James, do what you gotta do, kill her. But six? <laughs> I'm kidding, too. <laughs> I don't advise that. <laughs> I don't advise that. Uh, no, my thing is, like, okay, how old are the kids, though? Are they, like, all over 18? Yeah, 16, 4, 12, Why 3, and 9, and 28. <laughs> I just read it on the story. Um, that just for the record. <laughs> no, I have no idea. They did not list because, like, it's not it's not that sad of like detail if it, like all the kids are adults. I think if you have six, there's probably a good chance there's some that there's one young enough to be like actually yeah. needing a mama and a papa. Yeah, um, I think that he's trash. Six children. I mean, let alone just being trash, but then six children and you just outed her. What was he planning on doing? Your mom's dead. Gotta go to the foster home. I'm gonna be banging these multiple <laughs> women over here. It was nice knowing you. He's gonna get him a new mom. Oh, he's gonna yeah, get him so a new sweet. mom. You're yeah, right. there you go. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe she was a terrible mother. We don't know. We're no. just assuming she was a oh good my person. God, great point. What if she was just what a she bitch was actually and he was awful. like, "This is for my kids." We're only seeing one side. See, the law I saw you don't the know. picture. She's sweet. I could tell. God, we're really gonna have to start locking the Did doors. Did you see his teeth though? <laughs> 
His, his yeah. teeth are pretty good. <laughs> Hi. Well, hello. Sorry. God, <laughs> we're getting interrupted here. Our flow's gone. <laughs> no, that's basically the end Look of the story. Look at this guy. Though. Who we showed up with. Well, we like to start it off with a death story, so you know we'll go anywhere. <laughs> Good. <laughs> that, was, that was nice. That was nice. Well, R.I.P. to her. God. <laughs> Please cut to that. <laughs> just, just do a jump cut from that last little bit right to her going, well, R.I.P. her. That was so awkward. <laughs> well, R.I.P. to her. Oh my gosh, just leave like, it in. Like, no Go motion. from my comment, cut it my comment where I say, maybe she was just a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why he killed her. Oh, and then no. Now I be her. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's not a long shot of all of us. It's a two shot of us. Because yeah. I keep wanting to lean back, and I go, "Don't lean back. You're gonna be out of the frame." Don't do I'm it. Like, do you want to put your foot down? Oh, foot We're just like. Just let everybody get in here. <laughs> It's a, it's a two Gosh. door, or a, I almost said two doors. <laughs> Too far. Uh, fucking Clinton Polk would be your tradition. <laughs> Just put all yeah, your, we're under the table. Scott and I, every episode, you can't see it, but our feet are always touching underneath. Oh, uh, gross. That is gross. I don't know why. I'm oh, it's cool gross. when you two do it. But... <laughs> he shoes on. He's broad on him over there. <laughs> that is very true. Get some shoes on, Steve, and you're making everyone uncomfortable. I like it. I prefer to. All right, audience. What's <laughs> Okay, I guess I have the story, don't I? I'm like, who's gonna yes, be next? Me. <laughs> Did you show a little respect? I'm about to. No. <laughs> Not that it's weird that I noticed that. But... Should I? They sounding parched. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was getting at. Please, your voice is. Woo! Take a drink, cause it sounds gravelly as fuck. <laughs> it's so stupid. I'm sorry. Thanks, man. So There's two things in there. You put them up one. Brent bought brisket fries. So, good thing you guys went to the gym, I guess. Holy shit. <laughs> what a psycho. Okay, so I got one for you, Scott. Uh, the search is underway for the mountain lion who clawed a man in a hot tub. At least 27 people have been injured in mountain lion attacks in Colorado since the 1990s. Three of them fatal. I but don't the care victim, about any of them, but, except for this dude who got in the hot tub, just having the greatest time of his life. Like, finally, I get it relaxed. What's that? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, said uh, he got clawed in the in the head while he was bathing in a hot tub with his wife in Colorado. Aww. Hey, your thing was in Colorado. Dentist killing his wife, it wasn't was. it? What is going on with Colorado? I don't well, know. Last I mean, time it was Florida. Mountain lions that seem pretty normal there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> in Colorado, mountain lion attack, normal. In Florida, lady kills husband in a hospital. <laughs> Not well, according to that cop. So what happened to the cop, wife that is or the woman? Thing. What's that? What happened to the woman? Apparently nothing. It maybe was her. maybe the guy squealed and it scared the lion. I don't know. Like he was like, ah! And the lion was like, the fuck? Took its paws out. Like I'm out of here. Yeah, that was geez. a weird noise. That was <laughs> Done. Turns out you don't have to boop them on the nose. You just got to scream like a girl, and it'll <laughs> it'll run off terrified. That's Scott's defense. Hey, shut up! <laughs> I uh, said the couple was life. relaxing at a rental home. Oh my God! So they don't even live there. It's like an Airbnb. They're probably like Airbnb in it for the weekend. Uh, wooded area of Nathrop at the time of the incident. Uh, man felt something grab his head and screamed when he realized it was a lion. So I was right. Yeah. Scared it off with a scream. Said he continued to shout. Bullshit, he screamed. At the curious cat and splash water at it while his oh, wife no. shone a torch in its direction. <laughs> it shown, it, it literally says, shown a torch in it. So did she pick up like a tiki torch and just sort of like, huh? I Because mean, even then it doesn't sound like she hit it with it, just shown it at him. <laughs> She probably didn't want to get too close. Well, I would, yeah, I would imagine. She's like, listen, if anybody's dying here, it's going to be you, but I'll try to give I you a hand. I feel like the guy had a paw on his head, and he's like, ah, like yeah. splashing water. Honey, get the torch! Oh, my God, what do you mean? Honey, get the fucking torch! Don't just show it! Burn him! Oh. <laughs> but I'm showing him! I'm showing him! Yeah. <laughs> 
So, okay, so Keep she's shown the torch, uh, eventually forcing the animal to retreat up to the top of the hill. Uh, they Just managed to get it. back home and clean the man's wounds. Said he had four scratches along the top of his head and near his right ear. Uh, before they called the property owner who worked for Colorado Parks if and Wildlife. If you had the fine print, you would so have seen So they didn't call that. like an ambulance or anything. <laughs> Apparently it wasn't that drastic of a cut. What happened? They're like, well, hey, we called the homeowner to complain about our trip. <laughs> Are you talking about Skippy? <laughs> yeah, he lives up on <laughs> the <laughs> <He's laughs> <up laughs> tree. Skippy, the backyard mound line. Gotta watch out for yeah. him. It says right there on the wall when you go out the back door, watch out for <laughs> Skippy. <laughs> Uh, said so now they're trying to trap it, but I have failed Aww. to and can't find any tracks the in the frozen snow. No, 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 sorry, <laughs> wildlife officers because they Her I said in the beginning the hunt was on yeah. <laughs> like it. The, turns out they should not have fucked with this particular person on couple. The phone that they called was like, Did you try trapping him? <laughs> oh, we'll do that now. Thanks. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> Yeah, they call him the Airbnb owner. Hey, uh, so this mountain lion attacked us. Oh, have you tried, like, <laughs> tracking it down and killing it? Oh, no, we hadn't thought of that, but we'll give we it a shot. Not. <laughs> so, uh... This is where you come in with more story. No, unfortunately, that's it. Um, Did he die or Says no? it's a mountainous... It, clearly not if their first phone call was the goddamn property <laughs> no. owner and Did not the hospital. Die from I'm beginning later. to think that, like, this little... It was like a... That's what barely a scratch, right. and he's like, right. so, <laughs> freaking out. Like. For all we know, it was petting him. I was just petting the back of his head. Hey, you look super relaxed, bud. I'll get you. You look good. He's like, ah! You look super relaxed. Let me play with your hair. That's all he was trying to do. Just play with his hair. You guys, he was attacked by a, a mountain lion. Listen, it's it sounds like serious. You're he right. Was, he was you're scratched in, by a mountain lion. House, his whole vacation was ruined. Or did it make it the most exciting story he's ever told? Oh, before? yeah. He's, he and, then, and then Babe up, grabbed the I torch would... and shone it at him? <laughs> he's going to be like, I'm like, too true and alive to everyone. Too true and alive. The only thing that would make that funnier to me is if someone was using torch when they mean flashlight and she just shined a flashlight at it. <laughs> you just, devil. That's what happened. Yeah, stop it! You mountain lion! <laughs> but she changed it to a torch. Just to oh my god, that's yeah, she just shining the flashlight. Like, oh my god, it's eating you! <laughs> and he's like, show him that light harder! It's like, hey, well, when we tell this story since we escaped, let's tell everybody it was a torch. <laughs> Somebody made it sound way cooler. Yeah, we're actually gonna need you to. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get a torch! <laughs> Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> no. I'm kidding. It's a it's a beating it's a, to the dog also, joke. It's fine. also how he uh, also he how he handles mountain lions. Just straight headlock and then punch straight to the skull. <laughs> No, I'm just See, that's too much oh, love yeah, now. Star, come on, baby. Come on. Just let her be in it. <laughs> she can be in it. She's just going to keep doing this. Let her have her input. So anyway, I got a great story to tell oh, you guys this. Oh, it looks this. like Scott's being attacked by a mountain lion. <laughs> All right, so are we going to do Marissa's now? I are you going to be able to read English? I'm sorry, what did you call her? Marissa. Marissa. Ma, Ma. sorry. Not With a long H Marissa. sound in the middle. I thought we were calling me like... Sunny or slick or something. Oh, is yeah. it Mickey Stinky? Is that <laughs> what it was? Shit. Yeah, she wanted us to call her Mickey Stinky. For yeah, some I reason. requested that we call her that. <laughs> Tell us your story. It's such, such a stupid. Such a stupid thing. Like me to try it. Okay. Loud oh. and proud. All right, guys. You gotta, you gotta let those vocals soar. So this one's actually very concerning. So. Part of the sun breaks free and forms a strange vortex, baffling scientists. I knew you were going to ch choose some weird ass. Who got, who got <laughs> murdered in that? <laughs> <laughs> we only do murder stories or poop stories, thank or you. poop stories. Oh my god, we did so many poop stories. Where's the poop? This one is definitely very, very real. So part of the sun has broken off. It has broken off and... Where'd it I mean, go? I've been saying for a while. It's created a vortex. It did. It created a what vortex. What is a vortex? Um, so basically, they're just saying that there's something very strange going on with the sun, which 
I don't know. I didn't read this, and so this is a little bit... Well, good. A little nervous. Read the story and let us know what's happening. So it's uh, while well, it's a phenomenon that baffling scientists, they're all, it also has them very excited and sick. So the space weather forecast has shared all of their information. So let's see, that has the solar plasma is breaking free from the sun's surface. So that's what's happening. They're talking about a polar vortex. And we need the plasma. We need all of it. We need all of it. But it's going away. Yeah, so it's all breaking free material from a northern area has just broken away from the main sun and is now circulating. I was going to say massive... sun is a joke and that actually wasn't the next word. <laughs> it's, it's circulating in a massive polar vortex around the north pole of our star. Okay, so that actually sounds kind of neat. So... So part of the star, part of the sun broke off and is now like a big swirling mass of fire at the, at like the top of it. <laughs> yeah, that's not concerning at all. Def, I'm not scared. It's I three knew. planets away. Yeah, all right, yeah, like yeah, that's how it was going down. <laughs> we'll know when Mercury disappears that it's too late. Okay, and they won't tell us anyway. <laughs> it's that the first. Time. No one's gonna tell us. <laughs> Marissa, maybe, but no one Who? else. Listen. <laughs> I'm going to call her the nickname that I've always called her my whole life. Mickey Stinky, yeah. Mickey Stinky. <laughs> Mickey, what else is going on in here? The story's all over the place. I know nothing still. Marissa's <laughs> very concerned about the structural state of our son, is basically, what it comes down to. Basically what I have been preaching out. Now listen. I don't want to get too depth into it, okay? Because here they've been saying a lot of different things. And basically what it just means is that we're fucked. <laughs> so, <laughs> not say that. What a great... I love it. What a great outcome for that story. Um, so, yeah, uh, you know, actually, just in summary, we're fucked. Yeah, sun broke off. So, yeah, basically. We're done. I done mean, for. So they've never witnessed a vortex like this at all. Um, so they're saying that basically that uh, he does know that something strange tends to happen at the sun's 50th degree latitude once every solar cycle. So it's like every 11 years, something weird happens to the sun. So I guess we're coming up on that shit. Okay. Every 11 what years? Every what was the weird thing years. that happened 11 years ago? He didn't state that because it wasn't as it's weird. It's old as news. Things. You know, the yeah. thing is like 11 years though for the sun is like a blip, like a, t uh, like a blink. I mean, it's just like, oh, we've never seen this before. Oh, in the recorded human history of all time, which is like so <laughs> 7,000 yeah, years. If you interviewed the sun, the sun would be like, yeah, that happened yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but what's yesterday? Oh, yeah, that was like, I guess, 200,000 years in your, yeah, right. in your eye. Exactly. Um, so. What is a vortex, though? What is. What like a mean? whirlpool, kind of a. Like it's swirling. Like it's there's a so there's a, piece a central of the sun portion and it's is whirling over the over North the sun yeah so, so we didn't fireball. do global warming it's this well that just happened yeah it wasn't us <laughs> turns <laughs> out the there's a there's a Being vortex a <laughs> chucking a like so you can go sun. back to wearing your hairsprays oh, and all that stuff because fuck the ozone layer exactly fuck Got it four bottles I've been waiting to just <laughs> just some old tresemme <laughs> <laughs> just sitting there in a can yeah it gets even better it's just basically like a huge lava ball just. So there's like two suns. There's a sun, yeah, and then there's like a, a sun tumor. That's a sun tumor. It's not a baby. Sun tumor. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be. Two suns. Sounds like sun cancer, if you ask me. I mean, I'm no <laughs> scientist, but the North Pole has sun cancer. No, not the North Pole. Well, the North Pole of the sun. Man, does does the sun have a north? How do you north and south? It's quiet! It's <laughs> you said no! Now we have another special guest? Yes. Esther, come on. That's brisket, man. <laughs> man, so that's all you had for yeah, us, huh? You I didn't mean, have really, nothing to... I really to... want to ask, like, a question. Can I ask, like, a question and just get, like... No. A... <laughs> hey, thanks for... <laughs> of course, ask what you want to ask. I need to know this, and then maybe if anyone is watching this... They can just chime in with oh, their Oh, sure, answer. like in the comments. Yeah, like in their comments. Okay. So you don't Listen. understand how many people watch this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that I get some accurate answers here because I want to know what everyone's theory of this is. All right, this has to do with the pyramids. Oh, boy. So it's not even sun-related. No, I don't even want to talk about that anymore. Dude. That shit was Oh, we're on to the next topic We're going now. somewhere. We're already Did fucked, so that? we might as well figure out some <laughs> secrets. Just, I need to know, okay, so... I, 
there they found some they found tunnels deep down oh yeah okay did you trust me about this? girl i've i've seen all this stuff you sh we should not be talking about this right <laughs> Listen, now this is, what this is the stuff i avoid about. talking about on this podcast because i'll just sound like a loon <laughs> no, no seriously it, it's Have you not these tunnels no. I haven't either. No, you haven't Nerds! I mean, no. That I feel like be... we're the same couch. You guys are about to jump into conspiracy. <laughs> Literally, like, you, you better yeah. go back to that two shot because it's just going to be us the whole time. Just, uh... Yeah, listen. So the underground cavern's pretty wild. Not oh, yeah. in here, they have though. taverns down there? Did you cool, let's the, visit. The residence in the king's chamber? Have you seen all that? Oh, it's so crazy. He's nerdier than you are. Oh, just my Just proved it. Ugh. Oh, they talk about... See, I don't want to get into that because I feel like we're going to go down a rabbit hole and these guys are like, we don't care about we're that. We're just... They're still going. Listen, they had these basically like tunnels that were just built underground. How deep were they? They were pretty deep. Lots of them are deep. It, it just makes you wonder why people in a time that you assume all they have is like Fucking lantern show. light or something you yeah know, and like a rock of, to dig with it's like know, why did you go that deep how did you go that deep oh it's just over time probably slaves if or they like, wanted their acorns for the day they had to go all the way down that's what they paid them in right do you do you know where acorns grow <laughs> desert miles under the earth <laughs> <laughs> no, they, would, they would come back up from the earth oh, and they'd be like these oh. are rare Trust so me, they're just like in the someday. rocks, and then sometimes they get to the surface of the sand in the desert. All so those what, acorns. What is so far deep under that they, what were they trying to do? There were tunnels. So they made tunnels. God, to so I, I, thank you, you right. They, thank you. It's, Marissa, I think they've got a grasp on the fact that the tunnels exist. What they're asking is you guys why. Hear about the tunnels. And then what she's very unclear on telling you is I don't think anyone knows why. There's a lot of speculation. I wish that she would just pop up and be like, guys, there were tunnels. What's what's interesting about the tunnels is there are government entities and things that have sealed them for like any any sort of public access so like people, so people know that they that exist but like because of that they like people really even even historians nothing. and things aren't allowed into these certain areas for one reason or another so it it just conjures up reasons of why <laughs> would the egyptian government like have these tunnels seclude outside of like I, I public know, safety, safety right precautions. well right but, because i imagine they're not going to open the the door that they but close my and point just is, is bodies if fall a, on them oh all the secret bodies they killed oh is that jeffrey is that, is that jeffrey because <laughs> jeffrey epstein no, you just said Jeffrey, and that's just what it. No, my my oh. jokes go is deeper than that. There? Oh, is that right? It goes even no, deeper than what you thought. Even deeper than, even deeper than that's the tunnels. That's a different episode. <laughs> <laughs> deeper than the tunnels. Keep searching through that tunnel, might find the reason. I no, this sounds like um, we probably need to have a discussion. Just <laughs> yes, a sidebar, guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I just need to know then. Just, just you first. How did a pyramid get made? Nobody oh, else knows like, the answer. They were like, dude, you know this shape? We should fucking just do it. Like, make it big. And then they did it. Yeah, I think they just got bored and they're putting in the what sand. What else was going on back then? Yeah. Right. They're, they're what else you had to do? Artistic side. Yeah. And they build them up that fucking high with no, s what else you gotta do? They had all the time in the world. <laughs> Years and years because nothing was going on. They're Sounds like, well, we got dirt. I we got rocks. One. See what we can fucking do. <laughs> so Scott has a strong point. I I do like some of the research that says that people think that maybe there was a mass reset of ancient technology back in the day. Like that there was stuff that they knew how to do that we have no idea how to well, do today. That was not what I said. What do you mean? You no, it was very... <laughs> <laughs> I said that they were just bored. I said I, I, am inclined, made it. I am inclined to agree with you. But yeah. I said I do. I do also think there's some validity to some of the stuff that they talk about. I think that is interesting. Because there are some like massive structures like in the ancient world that that are baffling to modern science, yeah. and so it makes you wonder Have if they... Have they attempted to try to make a pyramid? Pyramid? A pyramid? Now, no. And ex fucking explain that. Riddle that. 
I think. Oh my God! You can't even been buy, there, done that. Let's buy a smoke house our cigars. One hundred and fifty thousand dollars now. Nobody's building a fucking pyramid out of stone. Right. So can you go ahead and ask the other? They don't even want to build a pyramid now, out of so glass. They built the Louvre. Yeah, that's a pyramid so, out of glass. And like, okay, shit, that was expensive. Oops, enough. I'll ask you a question. So he. So how do you think they made it? Aliens, bitch. No. <laughs> so, yes! Aliens, bitch. Yes! No, it's, uh, it's very interesting. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of very interesting stuff around ancient history that I'm a big fan of exploring all the avenues, increases, and grasses. But, so, this, she's a psycho. Sure. I wasn't going to bring it up <laughs> to the public. <laughs> But she's like, listen, thanks for waiting know. till this moment to do so. <laughs> this you know, is like, this is a show time. where we read weird news stories. We don't go, you go down the conspiracy rabbit hole. I mean, sometimes we need to, no, I mean, did, uh, one of the weird stories that I heard was that aliens were coming. Right now? You, mm -hmm. you modeled a few TikToks that I was like, yeah. three days ago. What is yeah. wrong with you? Do you, <laughs> just, <laughs> do you just read something on the internet and just no. immediately? Listen, listen. Someone, like, guys, someone got to let you know. Me. Someone got to let you know. Get some bottled water, hide said, underground. Oh my cause. God, get some bottled water. She, and hide. You literally said that in one of your videos. <laughs> Jesus. That was the one about the sun. Let me see that real quick. Would you just... <laughs> oh my god, what is she smoking? That is weird. Get the water now. <laughs> you never know. Canned goods. Canned goods. She's got like a whole tank in a bunker underground. I know just where waiting. I'm going if something happens. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> because, yeah, there's no way you're going anywhere but... <laughs> All right, guys, this is being clear. Fuck the pyramids. How do you think the pyramids were created? Air, air, air. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she looked at both of us in turn, and like, she yeah, like waiting for us. Like, oh, me? <laughs> How do you think it happened? I don't fucking know. She's not. She doesn't care. Qualified. So stop asking her these questions. I've been studying Egyptology for years now, so. I wish that you would have came out like that. Like, actually, my degree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is <this> the scroll? <laughs> this um, is my degree. That's accurate because. Information here. It's that accurate. <laughs> Marissa's read a bunch of scrolls and about Marissa, this. Marissa, how do you think the pyramids were built? So there are tunnels involved. I can tell you. Just that. take longer to answer. No, that. I mean, <laughs> honestly, there's so many different Wait! theories. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, listen. I feel like that's a sign that we should try to we should just, to stop talking stop about talking this. About oh my god! It's yeah. Marissa's always looking for those signs. <laughs> Last time was the old guy. Messing with our lighting. He hasn't here. left me alone since. Yeah, I right. can tell you so many. Dude, you talked about it. Find me justice. <laughs> I'm like, shut up. I don't care. I just exploit your story for views. So anyway, tunnels. The tunnels, yeah. Mm. Those. I mean, they found. They found a whole bunch of stuff. They found a lot of things down in those tunnels. Name one thing that they found. They found a whole new queen. Name huh? uh, three other things. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I didn't expect it. Damn, I didn't know she'd have one locked and loaded. It's a like, whole new queen? A whole new queen that they didn't even know about. There's a lady. So bed. One queen was like, listen, the best way to die is to have them bury you really deep. Really far. That's why they hated this woman. They were like, make sure 16. she's waiting. Yeah. 600! 600! 600. <laughs> I love, I love that it's a guy that just decided to, <laughs> <laughs> he goes, 60, <laughs> absolutely not, not try 600. <laughs> they really were like that. And they double it. Oh, well, um. Wow. Scary. Do you guys want to talk about the kissing cousins? Story that I. <laughs> it's just it's just Scott and his cousin. It's like he's just looking for a little therapy. I feel like we need to come back down, so I'd be if, willing to hear about that. That's is there a, a difference of opinions on that topic? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's bad. Because it's. <laughs> Oh 
man. You know, I was... Hey, cuz, turns out we gotta keep <laughs> oh it quiet. <laughs> we gotta keep it quiet. <laughs> you better send that text quick. <laughs> and also, I swear I didn't poison you. For the record. Oh, Tate, so this might be interesting. I have an update on the woman who shot her husband in Florida. Stop! Okay. I do, and I'm gonna kill this fucking stupid ass dog. See, he was coming back though. That's him telling you. It's yeah, yeah the guy <laughs> doing <laughs> right. <laughs> the that was moment the that that happened. happened. Hey, dude, you seriously had it. though, seriously. <laughs> and okay, that's what happened in the creepy. episode. Yeah. <laughs> now every time we bring this up, they're gonna hear that sound of the the things <laughs> clinking. Yeah. <laughs> It's very distinct. That fucking thing's gonna fall the moment Hester moves. The haunted place. I hate him so much. Yeah, God, this place is just haunted. All right, well, when that falls and kills everyone, <laughs> sets a place on fire. This isn't my house, just for the record. <laughs> I didn't do it. Um, text or is text it or is it true? <laughs> text it or it is. <laughs> text it or it didn't happen. Uh, okay, so this says grand jury indicted 76 year old woman who her name turns out is Ellen Gilland. Mm. Sounds like a killer. And so she was the one from our last podcast with Marissa. Um, and so they have indicted her on charges of assisting self-murder slash manslaughter. She was originally charged with first-degree murder that we reported, so they have dropped the sentence to assisting self-murder. I feel like you have something to say here. I do. I want to say something, quite frankly. She's getting away with first degree. She, she is getting away with it, and they felt they took mercy on her little. Old it, ass. That's what it literally says. Yeah, in the. Is in that the a headline. picture of her little fucking? Yeah, no, seriously, dude. Ass. Yeah, dude. Like, see, oh I think there's. God, I think cute. there's a better side profile <laughs> in here. Yep. No, that's all these like, seventy-six-year-old right. attractive oh, women shit. get. That's the woman that killed her <laughs> for terminally ill oh. husband. So you have to show. The I think. So what do you think she's gonna be hot? What the hell is this, Jesus. you liar? Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever take a blind it. date that Marissa <laughs> set you up on. Oh, she's cute. I'll show the peeps. I know the I peeps. missed that story, peeps. but I trust that bitch. I think she did it. Oh, really? Reason. So this is interesting. Her her opinion wasn't colored by the uh, the story last time, and she's just seeing her and saying she believes her story. Listen, I'm going to yeah. tell you one key piece you of information. Yeah. that this woman had a Listen, death pact with her husband. Key piece of information here, she yeah. sat in that room for three hours. Four? For it was four actually hours. three. I for three. For, four, she sat in the room for a significant amount of time with his dead body while he bled out. Maybe she was in shock. Well, yeah. she is also supposed to be dead, and that. she was probably yeah, grieving her that. dead she husband. She just killed him. <laughs> she did just kill someone. Oh I've never killed anyone, so I guess I can't have that. I mean, what's For the, the record? rush yeah, at that sure. point? You know? Not <laughs> yet, psycho. Can't wait to kill all those people. Anything else? Could you stop okay. staring at her pick and read the <laughs> yeah, story? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Putting that, that in the spank bank. Uh, <laughs> so... I gotta make a call. There's certain uh, here. <laughs> this is interesting. This these are details we also did not have last time. Said uh, brought a gun into the hospital and after shooting her husband, pointed the gun in the direction of a nurse and a security officer, and later fired in the direction of police. Marissa Junior. Over so here. she was <laughs> shooting through the <laughs> Marissa she, Marissa she, Senior. She is a <laughs> so she definitely was firing through the door. Like <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so How do you explain that? She's, She's just had enough. She had enough. <laughs> Maybe she thought the police her was going to shoot her, died. so they would die <laughs> <Yeah>. together. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, he said. Uh, so they're questioning a detective. He says, "Yes, ma'am. How I understand it, she grabbed the firearm, raised it at officers, and as she was raising it, she discharged the firearm at the officers entering the room. So that's why they end up having to flashbang that bitch because yeah. she shot at him trying to come in there." No, oh, they didn't shoot at her, just flashbang at her. Oh, well, apparently no, they didn't shoot back. Wouldn't that have been amazing? They just, they just unload. Kind of a natural. They turned the door to like. I guess if, yeah, I mean, she had already shot at yeah. them, so they should have been like, "Oh, you Not, think you got something? Oh my go, god!" Like, for the head, maybe like the leg or something. I just turned like the door to matchsticks. Situation. They didn't have this under control at all. 
They said it happened all the time, and it's and, seeming yeah. like they weren't ready for it. No, they so weren't. They flashbanged that poor dead body, that poor dead little man. Yeah, it's they too bad that he went through that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but see, see if this changes your, your opinion of the story at all. So this said, so they're arguing whether she should or should not be held without a, a bond. And then uh, the one was arguing that she posed a danger to the community, right? And then um, I think her lawyer said... Well, when police entered the room, Gillen raised the gun in their direction and fired it at them, the bullet striking the ceiling tile between the officers. So two guys come <laughs> into a room, and the bullet hits here on the ceiling. Stay back! So, so like, yeah, it's all right. Uh, right. They're it like, seems she's not like going to hit anybody anyway. She's uh, fine. <laughs> hey, guys. I, don't, want it. I, would argue, I would argue she maybe didn't even mean to pull that trigger. So, no. Yeah, just, <laughs> hey, stop it! Oh, <laughs> shit! Doesn't say, did she drop the gun immediately after shooting the ceiling? That's oh my god, about, guy on the second yeah. floor? Oh! <laughs> they just, they call like a code blue. We have a gunshot victim on the second floor. That's why the police left, and then other police officers came and flashbanged her. Oh my god, they went to the scene of another shooting knowing where it came from. That would have been funny. Uh, so she worked as a teacher for about a year <laughs> and then worked in retail before returning to teaching and was a special education teacher. See, received a angel. master's in the field. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, retired in 2013. She could have just let her husband, like, fall out naturally. Well, I mean, it, it, the thing is, is like, That's if you so really love gruesome. someone and they're You dead, murder them. <laughs> if you really love someone, you kill them right when they say kill me. They're painting her in a pretty picture, I think. But is she going to end up lady. dying? Well, but the thing is, is like, even even if it was just like a murder, like you still don't think you couldn't give her the benefit of the doubt and be like, she's 76, we're going to give her a slightly lighter sentence, but she's still going to go to jail. Poor thing, though. I mean, I'm so torn on it. Okay, uh, no, I feel like... Oh, are you? Because last time we talked about it, you were pretty jail. convinced. And not even just because she shot her husband, but because she shot afterwards, too, at other people. I think maybe she should she be going started. to jail for that. I want to see you hold a gun, let alone a 76 year it old. It doesn't woman. matter. If I have a gun for any reason and I'm shooting into an area know, where I people just, are, I should be charged. I'm going to imagine a scenario where you just hold a gun and it starts going <laughs> off for no reason. Guys, I swear! <laughs> it's like, I don't know what's <laughs> happening! <laughs> Put the safety on! What? Look at my... I'm like holding it like this. It's still going! <laughs> you haven't been... <laughs> oh, God! Make it stop! 